Hello YouTube, this is a, an alcohol review of Jameson's Orange Whiskey. Couldn't believe it when I saw it on a shelf. I myself love to give these different tastes a try, or combinations a try, but orange. Orange is a bit much. I wouldn't even have that as a mixer. We're not, vodka goes with orange. Whiskey does not go with orange. Now I read the back label and it simply states our triple distilled smooth Irish whiskey with natural zesty orange flavor for a subtle sweet and perfectly balanced taste. Try over ice with your favorite mixer uh, for a crisp refreshing taste. I also hesitate when I read that a whiskey is recommended in a mixer right off the bat. That always troubles me. But, hey. <sighs> Gonna give it a try anyways. All over the place here in the heart of the empire. It could because maybe it's a dumping ground or maybe it's actually that good. It's hard to tell. Screw on, Cap. No cork. It has an orange hue to it. Oh, <laughs> we'll refill that. All right, caps on. So now the critters around here knocks it over. Way too full. But hey, we'll deal with that. There's an orange hue. It's a yellow with an orange hue. That is an interesting. A lot of times I'll give these whiskeys, some bourbons, uh, a taste before I give them a review just to make sure and check the edges on it and whatnot. This is one of the few times I haven't. So, much to my chagrin, you'll get a chance to actually see what straight out of the bottle it looks like when it comes to my taste buds and review. Like I said, I've been seeing this Jameson Orange all my different booze stores but I haven't really heard anybody mention anything about it haven't really been checking that much but you just think you know just friends in general would take something nothing it quickly tears down the side of the glass for those of you who may or may not know tearing is when it runs back down the side it looks like crags and whatnot those are tears, like tears on the cheeks, that crag, or legs, because nobody's legs are perfectly straight. They have that nice legs look. The faster it tears, the faster it legs, the less sugar in solution. Because to distill means you have to take it from a fermented to a distilled, and then oftentimes they'll leave in a sugar for a sweetness, as well as a mouthfeel. The more sugar there is, the thicker it is, and it gets much more of a syrupy-ish line versus the other direction, which is much more watery. So in this case, it runs from pretty quick. That implies it's not gonna be sweet, and it's gonna be rather watery um, on the palate. There is an ice cream that you can get this an orange cream. I believe it's an orange, it's an orange sickle or a cream sickle. They call it out here in the middle of the empire. That's what it smells like. So, I wouldn't call it soapy. You know how there's um, some hand soaps and some other cleaners that have an orange for, an, for a much more uh, clean odor to it. It's not soapy, but it does have that, it does carry that oranges to it. And obviously that's not surprising. This is an orange flavored whiskey. It's not a mandarin orange, I can tell you that.
Hmm. Okay. This will be dating me. As I swat away the mosquitoes. Hopefully this will be their last hurrah of the taping of this video. But back in the day, in the Empire, they have or had cough medicines for unfortunate children whose parents were cruel and made them take said cough medicines and they were cherry flavor orange flavor and like a menthol or mint or something your medicinal like flavor this tastes like the orange medicine there's no sharp edges very short hang time, very light on the palate. So it doesn't represent orange cough medicine on that part of it, but the level of orange does. The rest of it, I mean, it's, it's fine. I don't know of... This, this does not hit my thoughts or my style or my palate their palate it does not hit my palate as something I would have all the time I'm not sure if I would even have a bottle of it at home but trying it it's definitely worth a try it's very unique I'm sure uh, I then now I have to have to agree with them a cocktail a nice fruity cocktail this would go really well in any kind of, um, no, I was going to say rummy, but not necessarily rum involved, but definitely a fruit type of, a fruit cocktail, but in a fruit cocktail. Now, um, with a pineapple, uh, there's a thing called a Scooby Snack, and which uses pineapple and uh, melon liqueur, throw this in there, we we'll put a nice little twist to it. Anything along that line, any kind of uh, cocktail that's, Fruit based, this would go very well with. It's the standalone, is what I'm more concerned about. It's nice. I'm willing to bet ice cold. Or just with ice would make it even better. But totally neat, like I have it here. It's all I can say about it is. All I can say about it is, it is unique. Now, one could say, is that unique plus or is that unique negative? And I, I, it's, it's too nice to go negative on this. But then again, I'm not sure if I would ever have it again once I uh, drink the bottle. So that's. It's really up, up to you guys, what you guys think. I mean, this this is a definite give it a try. It is that unique. And see what you think. Any comments about Jameson Orange, down below, be warmly accepted, as, as always. Or better yet, go out and buy it, try it yourself. I'm really curious to know you guys' thoughts on this. It's, it's too good to be bad, and there's nothing bad about it. But then again, I don't think I'd have it on my shelf. See what you guys have to say. Until next time. Oh yes, you know, buy it, try it. Let the rest of us know your thoughts. In case I missed that part. But until next time, keep on drinking.